Meanwhile, the South China Sea is heating up. American warships have been spotted at two locations, the South China Sea and the East China Sea. This is what one of them looks like. What you see is the American carrier Theodore Roosevelt. It has re-entered the South China Sea for the second time this year. The American side says the warship was conducting routine operations, but observers see it as anything but routine. And the move is significant. It comes at a time when a dispute between Beijing and Manila is escalating. The bone of contention is this, the Whitsun Reef. On your screen is a satellite image of the Whitsun Reef. Hundreds of Chinese boats are stationed here, as you can see. The Philippines has spotted more than 200 vessels, 200 Chinese vessels, manned by China's maritime militia. And they're not out for fishing. For several weeks now, these boats have just been stationed here. The Whitsun Reef looks like a boomerang. The Philippines calls it the Julian Philippe. Manila says this reef lies in its territory, in the Philippines' exclusive economic zone. On the other side, we have China. It claims more than 90% of the South China Sea. Plus, there are other contenders like Vietnam, Taiwan, Malaysia and Brunei. You could say the South China Sea is one of the most hotly contested regions in the world. 200 Chinese vessels in these waters is clear provocation. China says these boats are just seeking shelter from bad weather. The Whitsun Reef is part of China's Nansha Islands. This reef and its nearby waters have always been an important docking point and wind shelter for Chinese fishing boats. Chinese boats staying here overnight and sheltering from the wind is reasonable and legal. The South China Sea arbitration ruling is illegal and void. China does not accept or recognize this ruling and firmly opposes any claim or action based on this ruling. China's sovereignty and rights and interests in South China Sea were formed over a long course of history and are in accordance with the international law. Sadly for Beijing, nobody buys that alibi. That's because China's record speaks louder than China's words. For years now, Beijing has tried to grab territory by building and fortifying artificial islands. And now it is trying to reinforce these outposts by swarming the disputed waters with boats controlled by militia. Reports say China's goal is to establish an overwhelming presence in these disputed waters enter America. It is sending a message to China, deploying a warship in the South China Sea again. And Beijing is responding with its own warships. A Chinese aircraft carrier has passed through the Miyako Strait. This is off the southwestern coast of Japan. Now China and Japan are locked in an island dispute of their own. They have contesting claims over the Senkaku Islands in the East China Sea. The tensions are indeed high. Today, the president of the Philippines released a statement. His spokesman called for a peaceful resolution to the standoff at the Whitsun Reef. We continue to resolve the issues on Julian Felipe through diplomatic channels and through peaceful means. Whatever differences we have with China will not define our bilateral relations. It will not be an obstacle to the overall positive trajectory of our bilateral friendly relations and our deepening cooperation in pandemic response, including vaccine cooperation and in post-pandemic economic recovery. China and the United States have sailed their ships into contentious waters. With no side willing to back down, this situation increases the risk of a military conflict. This is a developing story and we'll keep track. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.